Ako. Hello, my Aries friends. Guiding Halo here. Hope all's going well. Let's see what's coming towards you guys. Money, finance, and career. August 22nd to 29th. Aries friends. Money, finance, and career. We have a foundation. Something you know that is of absolute beauty. We have the Ten of Swords coming in here, the end of a difficult situation. Embrace this change and expect things to get better, recovering from an addiction. Contentment, peace and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. I want to say that somebody through their intuition is starting to realize that they've been romanticizing the past that someone is a villain in their life. But we're all people on the planet trying to matter. You don't know what they've been through in order to make them that way neither. There's compassion that's needed here. That's how I feel. I'm going to use, well, I don't know. I have two decks that I'm going to use. And when I see a lot of blue, I tend to use the emotion deck. And when I see a lot of earth and fire, I tend to use the this deck, just the general deck. There's a lot of juggling going on of money, finances, trying to make the right decisions. Tell me about this. Ten of Swords, the absolute end of a commitment, deciding you're not committed any further. There's been a heavy mental mind based on what you've been committed to spiritually, you feel. And I feel that's coming to an end. Someone could have a belief in a, a shift in what, how they grew up learning things about spirituality, God, Source, all that sort of stuff. A complete shift in their belief set. Uh, it's really going to serve you massively because we have contentment coming out of it. Someone could also be ending a marriage, something that they have been tied to for a very long time. There's the Wheel of Fortune coming in here. So beautiful time of change after difficulty. This is stepping into joy, contentment and gratitude, peace, abundance, a sudden event that brings this about communication coming in very quickly that moves something forward it's like you're receiving the vehicle to move forward with something you've wanted for a very long time i have the two of cups this is a kindred partnership moving forward with a kindred partnership you could be dealing with a cancer oh someone's realizing why they've been tied to something their belief set has had to change about themselves or a person or a situation. Somebody could be receiving uh, communication, something, a change comes in fast. It's all about divine timing. Someone hopping in their vehicle and coming to see you at your home, at a place that's very comfortable and joy and, and feeling very good about. This Two of Cups is mutual agreement in emotion and love and care and compassion someone rushing forward ahead i feel like someone's relationship whether job finance career whatever it is is leveling up to the next step listen to your intuition have patience consider carefully what you want before acting so you feel all this is happening and you're like oh my god well just hold on to your hat for a minute now it is absolutely a wish granted i feel as though there's intuition needed about somebody's drinking issue or something it's happiness but is it but is the other person as happy about it as you are there's mutual agreement in what it is you're moving towards but i feel as though it may make you or them happier one person happier than the other so how is that mutual agreement it's like giving it a shot one person's ecstatic and the other person's like okay well we'll give it a shot you know what i'm saying Passionate opportunity. Wow, this is so beautiful. My Aries friends, this is so beautiful. 
a new opportunity comes through. I think you're very concerned, however, about whether it's a solid marriage, a solid commitment, a solid joining together, or if it's just based on passion. Listen to your intuition. So what's your intuition telling you? Your intuition is telling you it's a wish granted, that there's a lot of passion, there's possibilities for awakening and growth and and joy and happiness. Where's the but coming in though? It's coming in gloomy times. Perhaps you're going through a lot. Well, there's the but, hey? Ending a commitment and heading straight into a different one, perhaps. But like, I don't know exactly if this is a calling for me or if it's just something that's happening. And I don't want to repeat cycles I've been through before. Something coming back around, bringing in passion, bringing in happiness, bringing in joy. But I don't want to repeat what I've done previously. I want to make sure that it's on a solid foundation or I ain't doing it. That's high priestess energy. We have two people here that are mirroring each other's energy in a massive way. Because I have the Hierophant and I have the High Priestess. These two energies, they're the highest energies in the tarot. Somebody using spirituality as their foundation and someone using Christianity or religious belief or government structure as their foundation. But in order to make this happen, I believe this person needs to end that idea of foundation and needs to step into more of a spiritual belief set. And this could just keep coming back around this thing until that happens. Good news coming in, creative adventures, endeavors, things to step towards, to build. And it could be coming from a distance. But whatever information is coming in, it's like the buck stops with you. The decision will be yours to make if you move forward. Oh, too many cards. You may choose to walk away. But it looks beautiful. But your intuition's telling you something's about some, something, something. Trust your intuition here. Looking at your options. Yeah, you feel and are intuitively led that there's some sort of illusion around the communication that's coming in. Am I delusional to believe this could actually work? Look at the pros and cons of each thing. Write them down. Take yourself and put them in the pros and cons of that situation and see how you and your energy change it in each circumstance. And then you'll know which way to move forward. What you're forgetting here is that you are the eighth cup. You are the one that gets to walk away and make the decision. Walk away from the past. Walk away from a cycle. Whatever it is. This is beautiful energy, however. Making the decision to move forward straight into love, joy, happiness, new home, new job, new life, new you. This is amazing energy. It's absolutely beautiful. But you're nervous about it. You're concerned it's repeating a cycle. That's what I'm getting. You want to end that crap. You've had enough. You want transformation. You want to end the same old thing going on and on again. We have Scorpio. We have Cancer. We have... Uh, Sagittarius, we have Taurus energy here. Let's find out what the divine has to say about this divine energy uh, message. Angels coming in to lead you towards your best soul's growth. Schooling, study, and education help your life purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. So this home, this thing that you're building has got to do something with your personal growth and your life purpose moving forward. Being high priestess energy, really using your intuition, tapping into the energy, the words that are not said, tapping into what's going on behind the facade. I am giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose. So it's almost like as you're working on your divine life purpose and you're putting all this effort in, a person or a love situation comes in or whichever that wants to change your focus. And I feel as though your focus needs to stay steady, but at the same time, allow the new into your life. And how do you do that? How do you manage to juggle all that stuff? Like that's a big, big deal. I'm the angel of abundance and you will receive the money that you need. God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. So there's a need to definitely have faith in the circumstances. 
in a solid foundation, using your spirituality to move forward, passionate new beginning, new job, new home, new life, new you, creating a whole new circumstance or situation, helping people, I feel, in some sort of way overcome addiction. And I don't know where that's coming from exactly, but there's an absolute end to how you would have moved forward before. The things you stood on are completely shifting and changing all with underneath you in order to take you where? Towards your divine purpose. How beautiful is that? I love you guys. Blessings to you.